hello there. Welcome to the Heart Protection Kitchen. My name is Doug Lang. I'm the executive chef for OHSU's Food and Nutrition Department. We're going to be making a couple of really fun fall themed dishes. One is this lacinato kale with radicchio Caesar salad with uh, toasted pumpkin seeds as the croutons. And the other is a harvest soup made with different uh, squash, sweet potato, onion, uh, with a low sodium vegetable broth and some lentils that are simmered. You can serve it in a roasted pumpkin if you would like. There's a couple of different presentations of it. So what I'd like to do is demonstrate how to make this soup. I put a sheet pan in the oven on high heat. I preheat it to about 450 degrees, get it really hot, okay? <clears throat> This will help your vegetables roast much quicker. We're going to start with some nice delicata squash. You can just cut it in half. You can seed it. And I don't peel them. You really don't need to because the skin actually softens up when you roast it and it has a lot of nutritional value. So we have the delicata squash, as well as the sweet potato, which you also do not need to peel. So this would be one small sweet potato one small delicata squash. We'll dice all these. And really for butternut, they're kind of big. You'll need about half of it. You can save the other half for another purpose. And again, you don't need to peel the butternut either. Even size slices, turn them the opposite way. Even dices. Okay. And combine all these into a bowl along with some red onion, which we'll also do a half inch size dice on. All right, we got all the vegetables sliced. And let's add a little bit of garlic to this, just about six cloves. You can just smash those and dice them. Chop them kind of fine, not too fine. All right. And we have our pan all preheated, but we're going to roast these in. And they roast really nicely in a preheated pan. Okay, so what we have here is a mixture of some spices. I have a teaspoon of each, some cardamom, some allspice, and some black pepper with a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, half teaspoon of cinnamon, and just about a quarter teaspoon of clove. And this uh, nice, all these recipes, by the way, will be on the website. Three tablespoons of olive oil with this mix. Okay, and when we roast these vegetables, we're also going to roast a pumpkin if you desire to serve your soup into a pumpkin. And to roast the pumpkin, you just take a little bit off the bottom, not too much because you want it to not pour through. And then you're gonna cut a little bit off the top. And you're gonna scoop it out just like this. Okay, 
Those are good to go. Save the top. Now with this spice mixture with olive oil, just mix it really good together. And this recipe makes for eight servings. So you can do as many pumpkins if you want, or if you just want to serve it in a bowl, that's fine too. And I like to put some aromatics. You don't really need any salt with all these flavors. Just a touch of this oil and spice blend brushed inside the pumpkin, roasted on high heat with the Maillard effect, gives it a wonderful flavor. So even on this too, it's all edible. Except maybe the stem. And what we'll do is we'll roast off these vegetables we cut up, the squash, the onions, garlic, with the remainder of the spice blend. Mix it together really well. So you're coating all of the squash. Okay. This will really start sizzling as you add it to your pan. Spread it out a little bit. And give it a roast on high heat for about 20 minutes, 30 at the most, depending on how dark you like it and how hot your oven is. Um, and at the same time, you want to roast all of your pumpkins too. All these pumpkins you prepared if you choose to do so. So those are all roasting at high heat for 20 to 30 minutes. And while they are roasting, you want to simmer some low sodium vegetable broth with some lentils. These are a red lentil or orange lentil, also known as dal, very soft lentils, with a quart and a half of, this is a low sodium vegetable broth. There's many brands out there available in most supermarkets. I put in a few bay leaves, a little bit more aromatic. Let the lentils simmer for about 20 minutes. While you have this simmering and your vegetables roasting, you can move on to your next recipe, which is also very simple. Okay, for this Caesar salad, I like to wash my kale and radicchio. This is a lacinato kale, also known as dinosaur kale. And I tear it off the vein, really tough vein. I just kind of rip it right off the center like this. And just kind of do this through all the leaves. And once you rip it, the veins off, you can tear it into bite-sized pieces, about one inch by one inch. As well as your radicchio, which is an Italian chicory. And it's, it's a bit bitter, it has a little bit of sweetness to it, but it's also it's nutritious, it's flavorful. And if you don't like the bitterness, you can always roast it or grill it and put it into your Caesar that way too. But this, these just come apart really easy and you can just tear apart the leaves easily like that. Avoid any kind of core, which is gonna be hard. End up with a nice amount of kale, radicchio, which you'll want to wash really well, let it drain. And while that's draining, you move on to your Caesar dressing. It's an emulsification, it means you're going to whip some oil into other ingredients, but you don't need egg for this Caesar dressing. I start with a few anchovy fillets, just about three quarters of an ounce here, and olive oil. And like I said, this is the same recipe we serve to our patients at OHSU. And it seems to be very well liked. So along with our anchovies, we're going to add some ground mustard. It's about one and an eighth teaspoon, and about a quarter teaspoon of each uh, kosher salt and black pepper. A couple teaspoons of some lemon juice. About a half teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. A few tablespoons of the grated Parmesan cheese. A few tablespoons of red wine vinegar. 
and this is where the emulsification comes in, which is why I put a wrapped up towel down so that it hold the bowl steady. When I whisk in, the bowl holds still. So you're basically just slowly drizzling olive oil into this mixture and continuing to whisk. And it all comes together thanks to the balance of proteins and carbohydrates that are in the ground mustard. Okay, so we have a nice house-made seasoned dressing. While our vegetables are roasting, we're going to add a little bit of some sage and thyme to them. The thyme leaves, you can use dried thyme or fresh. Um, you can add these towards the end of the roasting process. And you just easily pull the leaves off the stem chop them up. So like I said, if you're going to use fresh herbs, you use a little more, cut it probably in half if you're using dried. You want to cook your vegetables until they're caramelized. So they have a nice darkness to them, sweetness, not too done. And the same with your your pumpkins. You want to roast those until they have a nice color to them. You can set these aside for now. Turn your oven off. Now your lentils should be starting to get a little bit soft by now. Make sure the heat is on high enough. And you are going to want your soup to simmer for a little while with these roasted vegetables, with the lentils. The bay leaves are still in there, so you want to remove those before you finish it off. And towards the end of this soup here, let's take these pumpkins out for now. Set these right here. I found it a nice addition to the recipe to create a nice Granny Smith apple. Give it some sweetness and some tartness to the soup. And you can just use the peel and all with a box grater. And you basically just going all the way around, avoiding the core and the seeds. So you got some nice fresh grated apple in your soup. Another good fall ingredient. And another nice addition for flavor is a little knob of fresh ginger. You don't need much. It depends on how much you like ginger. But you can peel this with the back of your knife or back of a spoon. Something dull just to get the fibrous skin off. Nothing too sharp. What I like to use is what's called a microplane. It's a rasp, basically. And what you're doing is just grating some fresh ginger and avoiding the fibrous product that's in the root. You can serve it with pumpkin or without. If you do serve it with pumpkin, I'd suggest you serve it in a bowl and avoid serving the bay leaves. Garnish with a sage leaf if you'd like. A little lid on top. And there you have it. That way, or this way. So there's your harvest soup. Made quick and easy. If you have any questions on the recipe, please feel free to contact me at OHSU. Radicchio and Lacinato kale is all washed and drained. And we're going to top this with some unique croutons. We're actually using pumpkin seeds. 
So what you want to do is on a high heat burner, post some pumpkin seeds and in probably less than three minutes, you'll have nice toasted pumpkin seeds. Give this nice dressing. Give it a nice toss with some metallicons. Try to coat all the leaves and the acidity and the vinegar and the lemon juice will help tenderize the leaves a little bit as well. Has a nice flavor. It's uh, very low sodium. It's uh, nutritious and delicious. You could do the same salad with various other types of kale as well. It's just what I used. And as far as uh, the soup goes, you can sub out acorn squash, um, a lot of other um, items that would be suitable. And then for topping, just a few toasted pumpkin seeds right over the top. And there you have it. You have the kale salad with radicchio and pumpkin seeds with which is used Caesar dressing. Um, we do have a new cookbook out. That's the Heart Protection Kitchen Cookbook. There are wonderful recipes in there provided from many contributors to OHSU. Um, I hope you enjoy this and happy cooking, happy fall, enjoy.